What's up everybody? It's Amy here from Amy's Art Alchemy. Welcome back to my channel. The place to go to for tips, tricks, tutorials, and all things art related. So today I have another Feature Friday Artist Spotlight episode for you. Today's featured artist is a friend from the Netherlands, my friend Corey Depaul. You can find her on Instagram at Artyface Journaling, and I'll be sure and put all of her links in the description box below. She is the sweetest person. She comments the nicest things on everything I post, and every time I chat with her, she's just so sweet and genuine, and I have just cherished her friendship. I got to talking with Corey and getting to know her more, and she joined our A3 ATC swap group back in March, and let me tell you, she is so inspiring. Everything she posts just inspires me. She joined back in March, and every, every ATC that she sends is just absolutely beautiful. I got to visiting with her, and I was curious when she started making art and getting to know a little bit about her. And she said that she first started art scrapbooking 20 years ago when her daughter was around five. And then it wasn't until about 10 years ago when she's decided to pick up mixed media. And that's when she fell in love with acrylics and inks. And she is known, let me tell you, she is known for her faces. She sketches the most beautiful faces. She's been sketching them for about two years now. And she said they're starting to make her way into her art journals and everything. But you have got to go check out her account. They are just beautiful faces. And I just, I love following her account. She just does such a beautiful job. So I've got so many amazing things to show you that she sent. Um, I'm just going to flip the camera around and give you a closer look. Okay, there's a couple of things I want to show you that Corey sent to me. First, I want to show you this beautiful book that she sent to me as a gift. It is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe that she made this for me and sent it to me. It is so beautifully made. I love the colors and Corey knows how much I love florals and look at this. So much detail. She put so much time into this. I love the spine. I love the stitching. These beautiful charms. I hope this camera angle is okay. But look, she put all this ephemera in here. So cute. I love the cutouts and stuff that she used. Absolutely gorgeous. All these tags with the, the ribbon trim. And this is just a pocket that she created right here. I love it. I love the reinforcement she used. Then this page has the little slide that went, and she put two tags in here, a tag here, and then actually it's a fold out tag like this. I love it. And then this is a pocket, slides out like this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this paper. Oh my gosh. I love the little tabs. Now I can do some journaling on the back. Look. Look how beautiful this is. Seriously, when I got this, I just, I was smiling so much and I'm still smiling even recording this. It's just absolutely beautiful. I love the papers that she chose. It's got a little band here for the card to slide in. Another little pocket on the side. It is just beautifully made and it lays flat. The pages just flip open like this and they're all so sturdy made. Uh, whatever she used, she did an amazing job putting this together because it is absolutely sturdy. She made it well and it is just beautiful. I love the papers and all the different die cuts. She is so talented. Definitely go follow her account if you have not. 
It is just such an honor to receive something like this. I never expect extra things. Just being in our group, our ATC swap group, and being a friend, that that's plenty enough for me. I never expect extra things like this. Let me tell you, this just puts a huge smile on my face. I love it so much. Another one of my favorite things is textile. So all the little textile bits are just beautiful florals and textiles. And then it's even more special because it was made by a sweet friend. So I, I will be looking at this so much. And each, each page has a little pocket that pulls out like this. Isn't this beautiful? Another little tag here. This paper pack, I'm, I'm gonna have to find out where she got this paper pack too because it is just beautiful. I love how she used the page, made page reinforcers and put it on here as just extra texture and this is layered. It's beautiful. And I love these little tabs. Isn't that paper pretty? Love this. You're right, I love this. <laughs> Get that pretty band. This is so inspiring to me, Corey. I cannot believe that you made this for me. And I'm so, so glad that you put your name and stuff on this. That, that makes it even extra special to me that you put put your information on there because that it's you made it special for me and I want to always be able to look back and see your name and I love that you put the Netherlands on there as well. This, this means so much to me. I can't even begin to tell you. Thank you so much for sending it to me. It will have a very special place in my studio and I will cherish it forever and look at it multiple multiple times and gain so much inspiration from it as well so that's one thing i wanted to show you this just shows her creativity i mean it's got that beautiful tie to tie it around for the closure i mean beautiful beautiful book beautiful now i'm going to show you a couple of her artist trading cards She is just extremely talented. She said one of her favorite things is just layering, just layering and, and I, that's one of my favorite too. I love getting the different dimensions of things and look at the, the textile behind there and she's got the words, the pretty, pretty birds and I love the buttons. I, I love how she added the buttons on there. So each one of these are, are very similar. It just has a different background but I love them. I love the use of color that she used. I asked her what her favorite color was. She said that um, she pretty much loves them all. Pink and greens are, and teals are some of her favorites and I love it. I love her choice of colors and I love how she added the different elements to create these. So these are the cards that will be in the May swap. And actually, by the time this video airs, the May swap will have just taken place. So you may be lucky enough to receive one of these. Then these cards are, actually those were intended for April, but arrived um, after. So those will be for May and these will be for June. But look how gorgeous these are. So she used the um, extra, I guess it's a die cut or maybe it's from the inside of this. I'm not sure, but I love how she used it. She added the other lace trim and all the different layers, like what she said she enjoys doing. And that's what, that's what makes a piece, in my opinion, so pretty is just all the different layers and the different color choices that she used. And 
She has an amazing eye for creativity and her art inspires me so very much. I love it. All the little details just really make this. Even the little piece that goes off the corner here, just every little detail. So this one, remember to play. This one says, be amazed. This one says, do more than exist. Choose to see the good, which I love. Be original and cultivate kindness. And Corey is so sweet. She not only sent me that book, she made an extra ATC every month for me. And that just, I'm so excited about this. And I have a special place in my studio for all my ATCs and I love it. I think this one that says cultivate kindness is the one I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. I love them all so much, but I love that saying. So absolutely beautiful. I'll get some close up pictures of these as well. These are the next month and I love how she did these. You may have seen these on her Instagram, but I love how she has the little jelly print images and then put it together and then there's the heart stamped image over it. Is that not beautiful? So bright and colorful. This one says, stay curious, take risk, be original, be brave, be amazed, and stay strong. And I love it. Absolutely love these so much. So there are so, so many beautiful things on her Instagram. I definitely encourage you to check it out. I'm going to include a picture of one of her faces because I told you about her amazing faces that she draws. So I'm going to include that in the clip um, shortly. But she also, this is very special to me. She said that her mother had given her this or made it for her and she gave it to me. Is that not sweet? Look how beautiful it is. So to have something so special to her to turn around and give it to me, I just... I cherish your friendship, Corey, and I will take very good care of it. It will have a special place in my studio, and I absolutely love it. She also had these in with her ATCs, and I love these little tags. It says, hi, Amy. There's also an ATC for you with love, Corey. Aren't they cute? So, so many things, but now I'm going to include a couple of pictures of the faces that she makes. So these are just three of the faces that Corey has painted and they are absolutely amazing. I highly encourage you to go check out her Instagram and look at all of her other work. It's absolutely beautiful. That's all I have for you today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's Artist Spotlight episode of my friend Corey at Artie Face Journaling. Definitely go follow her account, show Corey some love. I hope that you all are happy and well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and leave a comment. And we will talk to you all very soon. As always, happy crafting.